Hi YouTube, how you doing? Today we're going to look at The Stable Song by Gregory Allen Isakoff. One of his most popular songs and a fantastic song. If you're a big fan of his, check out my friend's channel, Henry Tutorials. I'll link to that below because he's got, he's got loads of tutorials on him. They're really good, they're really popular. Um, I'll link to one of his videos at the end of this one. So once you finish this, jump over, have a look, subscribe. And you can thank me later because they are they are really good. So the stable song, it's, it's got standard verse, chorus, bridge, and in between it's got lots of instrumentals which change as the song goes on. So I'll show you each of those and I'll break it up into sections which you can jump to in the timeline of the video below. So just jump to whichever section you want to learn, and I'll write it the order of the song below as well. So let's start with the introduction. So we've got, so we've got F major 7, which is played F major 7 with the E open, C stroke G, so you move the three fingers up one, these three, and you've got G stroke C, those are the main chords, and he also quickly hits on an A minor. So I'll play it, and you, you can follow that. So you start off for a whole bar on the F chord and he hammers on here. This is throughout the song he uses this technique where he hammers on with his second finger just after strumming it. So we're going to start off with the second finger off. Down, hammer on, down. Then we're going to pull off, strum up, strum down, hammer on and down. straight G. He starts off with that on that second finger and he hammers onto that. And as you can see at the very end of that F, he hammers on again. Now it's worth noting, if you've watched any of his live performances on YouTube, he he only uses the G and the C for the intro. He doesn't hit that A minor. But on the album, if you listen, he does. So that's why I've included it in this. If you don't want to use that A minor, then leave that out because that's how he plays it live. So I'll play it through once more so you can follow, and then we'll move on to the verse. So the verse riff, I'll play through the verse and then I'll explain how it's done. So we've got pretty much the same chords as the intro. We've got a, starts off with a C stroke G and goes up to an F. Then this rundown he uses a lot throughout the song. He's got a G stroke C to a, he's got a C stroke G to a G stroke C to an A minor to an F. And it will, so he hits it once, hits the bass note and then it will strum down strum up. And what he does with this F chord, he likes to hit his first and second strings if you listen to the record. So 
So for this rundown, we've got one, just like half a bar. played twice. So I'll play that through so you can play along. Now after this, he goes into an instrumental, which is my favourite riff of the song. I'll play the instrumental and then we'll go through how it's done. To do this, he starts on a C stroke G, second finger off, and he down, hammer on, down. And he'll hammer on three times, and then he'll go to the F. section three times and then I'll do the rundown again and then do the G, C to the F and to the C and that's the first instrumental and I remember there's several instrumentals in between as the song goes on but for the purpose of the timeline we'll call that instrumental number one now for the chorus chorus we've got F major seven goes to a C. More often than not it goes to a C stroke G, but I prefer to play as a C. And then back to the F major 7, and then he does that run down again. C stroke G, G stroke C, A minor, and F. And it's played like this. Just hammers onto that C quickly where he says, Where dim bells. And then at the end of that chorus, he's got this. Just goes to the C straight G, to an F, back to a C straight G. Then he goes into another instrumental which is almost exactly the same as the intro. Now it's played like this. It's worth noting as well, this one, he doesn't always play this one live either, but on a record. It is on there, so I've included it in the tutorial. So exactly the same as the intro, except the second time round, um, when he's going, instead of going to the F, you're going to go to the C, and then hit that G stroke C. So I'll play that, so I might play the F in a run through, but I'll, pl I'll play it again for you to play through.
So as you can see, it's going from then from there it's going to the C stroke G to the G stroke C and back to the C. And that is the second. And then we have the bridge riff, which is played like this. We've got an E minor, first time he uses E minor in this song, he goes to F major 7, then back to a C stroke G, then he goes back to that F. Then we've got, and then back to the C straight after that, so he hammers on that F, and then back to the C, then he goes back to E minor, to F major 7, C straight G, and then you've got a G chord there, which is the first time he uses the G in this song. So E minor for a bar, F major 7 for a bar, C for a bar, but at the end it goes back to the C, E minor, F major 7, C straight G, That is your bridge riff. Now those are the riffs that we've got throughout the whole song. As I said, I'll write up the structure of the song below because there's a lot of different instrumentals in there. Let me know what you think. If you've got any requests, if you've got any suggestions, then comment below. And as I said, check out Henry Tutorials as well because if you're a fan of this guy's music, you'll, you'll love his channel, you'll love his tutorials. Any other questions, feedback, subscribe for me. Much appreciated. Thank you.